Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for checking out this video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to play the song Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin and House Fires. I'm only going to show you guys one way how to play it and that way requires the use of a capo. If you guys don't have a capo, check out the links down below and you can buy one that's best for you. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome. I'm Andrew. I'm a worship leader at my local church. On the channel, you'll find a lot of worship leading tips and tutorials. If that's something that you're into, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell to keep updated for future videos. It'll help out the channel tremendously. If you guys have any questions along the way, don't hesitate to ask. Ask them down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, guys, let's get right into the lesson for Good Good Father. All right, guys, so Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin in House Fires is originally in the key of A. The tempo is approximately 72.5 beats per minute and the time signature is 6-8. And in this lesson, I'm gonna be concentrating more on the Chris Tomlin version, but it's still very similar to the House Fires version. And like I mentioned before, I'm only gonna show you guys one way how to play this song and that way it requires the use of a capo. But before I show you where to put the capo and what chords to play, I wanna show you the strumming pattern first. The strumming pattern that we'll use will remain consistent throughout the whole song and with each section of the song. The strumming pattern that we'll use will go something like this. It's going to be down, up, 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 down, up. That strumming pattern again will be down, up, 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 down, up. And what I'll do with the strumming pattern is I'll play it at full speed and then I'll slow it down right after. This is the strumming pattern at full speed. And this is the strumming pattern at a slower speed. So now that we have the strumming pattern down, I can show you where we're gonna put our capo. So we're gonna take our capo and place it on the second fret of the guitar and we're gonna play our key of G chords. And with our key of G chords, we're gonna be playing six chords in total in the key of G. So the chords that we'll be playing in Good Good Father will be a G chord. G sus. D. You can also play a different variation of D or your standard D major chord. I'll play a D sus chord. We're also going to play a C chord or C at 9, E minor or E minor 7, and then A minor. So to start off the song, we can go ahead and play the intro. And for the intro, we're going to go back and forth between two chords. We're going to play the G chord and the G sus chord. The intro will go something like this. So then after the intro, we can go straight into the first verse. And for the first verse, we're going to continue playing the G chord and the G sus chord. We're going to go back and forth between those two chords a total of four times. And then after the fourth time, we're going to play a C, G, A minor, and D. The verse will sound something like this. I've heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like. And you tell me that you're pleased and that I'm So then after the verse, we're gonna go straight into the chorus. And for the chorus, we will play a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be a C, 
G A minor and D and we're gonna play that chord progression twice for the chorus so the chorus will go something like this you're a good and good father who you are it's who you are it's who you are So then after the chorus, Chris Tomlin goes into a second verse, and that second verse has the same chord progression as the first verse, so no changes there. After the second verse, they go into another chorus, and that second chorus is the same chord progression as the first chorus. And so after the chorus, we're gonna go into the bridge, and for the bridge, we will play a different chord progression. We'll play the following chords. It's going to be a C chord. E minor. A minor, G, and then we're going to go back to C, E minor, and then D. So the bridge will sound something like this. You are perfect in all of your ways. So then after the bridge, Chris Tomlin goes into a third verse, and that third verse is going to be the same chord progression as the prior verses, so no changes there. After that third verse, they go into another chorus to finish off the song, but that chorus is the same chord progression as the prior choruses. And so to ultimately conclude the song, we can go ahead and play a G chord, and that's pretty much how we can play Good Good Father. All right, guys, so that's the lesson for Good Good Father by Chris Tomlin and House Fires. If you have any questions up to this point, leave them down below, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. If you guys have any other song requests or song ideas that you want to see in future videos, leave them down below. I would love to see those ideas. And before you guys leave the video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and notification bell to keep updated for future videos or help out the channel so much. But otherwise, guys, I really hope that the lesson was useful to you. Remember to keep safe, and I'll see you in the next video.